Hello, you're tuned into daily coronavirus updates. Today is the 13th of May and you're watching The Wire. The total number of people infected by the virus in India has crossed the 70,000 mark. More than 22,000 have recovered and over 2,000 have died from the virus. Across the world, there have been 41 lakh confirmed cases. The Prime Minister has announced an economic package which he said is worth Rs 20 lakh crores. The Prime Minister said that the details of the package will soon be announced by the Finance Minister in coming days. Prime Minister Modi also said that the package is nearly 10% of the country's GDP. Along with this, he also announced a fourth phase of the lockdown and said that details on it will be announced before the 18th of May. He also held a meeting with Chief Ministers yesterday ahead of the lockdown announcement. Reportedly, states sought authority to decide zoning of districts into red, orange and green categories. Some states wanted more flexibility to modify lockdown guidelines within their jurisdiction. Former Supreme Court Judge B. N. Sri Krishna, who chaired the committee that released the first draft of the Personal Data Protection Bill, told the Indian Express that it is utterly illegal to mandate the use of the Aroge Setu app. He said that so far, there is no law under which the use of Aroge Setu could be mandated. The Ministry of Home Affairs has made Aroge Setu mandatory for employees of private and public sector offices. It has also asked local authorities to ensure 100% coverage of the app in containment zones. The Noida police also said that not having the Arogya Setu application would be punishable with imprisonment up to six months. On this, B. N. Sri Krishna called the Noida police order totally unlawful. He added that such orders can be challenged in court. Jubilant Life Sciences Limited has entered into a non-exclusive licensing arrangement with Gilead Sciences, the makers of remdesivir drug, to manufacture and sell remdesivir in India along with 126 other countries. Earlier this month, remdesivir was given emergency use authorization by the US FDA. Recent studies have shown that patients receiving remdesivir had numerically faster time to clinical improvement. The drug remains investigational but is being seen as a potential treatment for COVID-19. The government has roped in Zydus Cadilla for mass production of country's first indigenous ELISA test kits for antibody detection of COVID-19, which was first developed by National Institute of Virology in Pune. ELISA, which is an abbreviation of enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, is a test which measures the antibodies present in the blood against the novel coronavirus. ELISA test kits have been routinely used to detect HIV infection in patients. But according to a report published in Scroll.in, at least three companies that make ELISA test kits for detection of other diseases told the media website that the ministry has not released any public advertisement or notices inviting bids or expressions of interest for the technology transfer license. T. Sundaram, who is a former director of the National Health Systems Resource Centre, an advisory body of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, told the media website that the government should have done the transfer to multiple companies, one in each region at least and companies with similar production capacities should have been invited to make a presentation or submit technical bids, he said. A health advocacy group has filed a PIL in the Bombay High Court saying health authorities in Mumbai are indiscriminately giving hydroxychloroquine to adults and children in a bid to curb the spread of COVID-19. Jan Swasthi Abhiyan said that this raises ethical questions over the therapy that lacks clinical evidence of efficacy in treating the viral disease. Drug Controller General of India VG Somani agreed that some states have set their own protocol but urged that the drugs should be administered under close medical supervision and should be monitored for possible side effects. Public health experts told the Times of India newspaper that the use of EDCQ in the manner prescribed by the Directorate of Medical Education and Research is questionable. Highlighting the work being done in the UK by scientists at Oxford University and Imperial College London, UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said a mass vaccine or treatment may be more than a year away. He added that in a worst-case scenario, we may never find a vaccine. He said the UK has accelerated this with promising vaccine development programs and a collaboration between Oxford University and pharma major AstraZeneca. Thank you for tuning in. Keep reading and watching The Wire and The Wire Science. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.